Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Another day, another false accusation, which is why I come to you in my Sunday best. Well, actually, this might be my courtroom best because I might be headed to court after this document dropped in court claiming they have a defamation case against me, CoffeeZilla. Well, Voidzilla right now. Maybe they have to amend that. But I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Mr. Fair and Balanced? Mr. Positivity? Steven, you've never accused anyone of anything in your life. And that is true. But today we find ourselves on the receiving end of some accusations, specifically that we defamed someone, in this case, Cast Media and Colin Thompson. If you don't remember who this guy is, we did a video called Exposing a Podcast Scam, where a lot of the biggest podcasters in the world hadn't been paid by a company, Cast Media, which was purporting to represent them, make deals, etc. And then all of a sudden they stopped paying and weren't communicating. So Theo Vaughn made a video about it. And ultimately, I confronted the man in charge, Colin Thompson. Now, at the time, I thought that they owed about $4 million to influencers after talking to dozens of people. And I confronted him about this and was surprised by how much he was a fan of mine. You're being accused of basically stealing $4 million. Your clients say you defrauded them. What's your side of Dude, I look tan in this. What the hell lighting am I using over here? Yeah, I appreciate you reaching out. You know, um, I wanted to talk with you because I, I appreciate the work that you do. Um, Thank you, Colin. Um, I appreciate the, your journalistic integrity. and I. Thank you, Colin. Why are you going to try to sue me then? I know that you're going to tell a fair story. Okay, interesting. So I'm going to tell a fair story. As I said, Mr. Fair and Balance, you guys know that about me. You know, <laughs> You know that I would never... Never attack anybody, okay? But nonetheless, now I'm, he's saying that I defamed him. The shocking thing about it is that if anything, I was too fair to him because in this bankruptcy filing where he says, you know, they've got a cause of action against me, they're gonna sue me for defamation, he actually admits that I was not only right, because obviously they declared bankruptcy, obviously they hadn't paid people, but I was more than right. I was wrong <laughs> about how much they owed. I underestimated it. Actually, this company, according to their filings, doesn't owe $4 million. They owe $7 million. As you can see right here, $6.9 million. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't sue me, please. Under total liabilities here, $6.9 million. Meanwhile, their total assets is $260,000. So as I said, I actually lowballed how much they owed and they did end up in bankruptcy court. So I'm a bit shaky about how I defamed Colin. I can show you guys, you know, how much everyone is owed. Unfortunately, uh, you know, personal addresses are listed here. So I'm not going to show that part of the document. I can tell you that Brian Last is owed about $250,000 according to Colin Thompson. Remember, this is all Colin Thompson's filing. Theo Vaughn is owed about a half a million dollars. Tony Hawk is owed $13,000. They've got a bunch of smaller creditors on here as well. Uh, essentially, a lot of their talent was not paid. And nobody is getting mad at these people for going bankrupt. It's not that fact. Companies go bust all the time. The problem is how much they led people on and didn't tell them what was going on as it was happening. As this company was collapsing, a lot of people were being told, hey, just around the corner. We're about to about to pay you guys, right? And that was the issue is that nothing was communicated to them until after Colin had created this trust for various assets where he said he wasn't trying to protect his assets from bankruptcy. He wasn't being honest according to these influencers about the financial health of this company. And so that is really the problem here. You don't just get in the whole $7 million overnight. Now, to be clear, looking at this bankruptcy uh, filing, it doesn't look like they're going to, most of these creditors will get almost anything. By the time Colin gets paid his salary, the lawyers get paid their cut. I think that this $250,000 in assets they have against the $7 million in liabilities is going to be basically gone. And that's why I think a lot of these creditors are going to go after Colin after this as well. I happen to know that Brian Last is pursuing some uh, legal claims against him, but I expect others to follow suit as well. Now, if you're wondering how I even got brought up into all of this, given that we've apparently done nothing wrong except underestimate how much Colin is owed, 
This is where it all came up. So when you're listing your assets, he claims he has a quarter million dollars, uh, including accounts receivable. But they also have this line, causes of action against third parties, whether or not a lawsuit has been filed. To my knowledge, no lawsuit has been filed yet. It says nature of claim, legal claims, amount requested zero dollars, which that kind of surprised me because I'm like, OK, well, then what are you suing people for? But this is what they say. Causes of action against third party, uh, whether or not a lawsuit has been filed. And then you see all these defamation cases against myself. Basically, everyone who said anything about Cast Media while it was going bankrupt or right before it went bankrupt. But again, we didn't do it. I didn't make the company owe $7 million. I didn't make you guys not have the money. You did that. Not only that, at the time I reached out, he said how fair I was. And even after the story went live, he texted me this. My mentor told me Tuesday, your reputation isn't what people say about you in any given moment. It's how you truly behave day in, day out over the course of years. So I hang on to that. Thanks for taking the time to hear my story. Really appreciate it. Congrats on your success and wish you the best. That doesn't sound like a guy who's been to fame. This is after the story has gone out. This is after he saw it. He's saying, oh, it's about how you act <laughs> day in, day out. You know, congratulations. Thanks for hearing me out. <laughs> so I'm getting dragged into this court bankruptcy that I was right about, that I lowballed when I heard you out. Just a little confused about that. Um, I think this whole thing is just kind of dumb. Honestly, I don't think there's ever going to be a lawsuit about this. I doubt it. I think it's just kind of scare tactics. So I wanted to respond and say how silly I think this is, while also saying that I wish the best for these podcasters who are going to struggle to get, you know, anything from this situation. From the looks of it, the financial health of this company was even worse than I thought, and I'm glad we shone a light on it when it still mattered, right? When there was before, you know, because once you go into bankruptcy court, it's it's over, right? Uh, but before that, we'd warned people, you know, not to get involved in this, not to get involved in the, um, these types of deals. And I think that is still true. So that's basically it for now. Thanks for watching. I wanted to talk with you because I, I appreciate the work that you do. Um, I appreciate the, your journalistic integrity, and I know that you're going to tell a fair story.